Hello, my name is Magdalena Janikis, and I'm a graduate student in the bioengineering department. Scientists who work with RNA molecules generally have very limited information about the structure of their molecules. What we can do is take their limited information about the structure and combine it with whatever knowledge we've gained about the geometry of RNA molecules from salt structures. We combine these pieces of information to predict what the molecule might look like in three dimensions. This information will contribute to a better understanding of the relationship between the structure and functions of RNA molecules. Okay, so this is a movie of an RNA molecule being built uh, where each sphere represents one nucleotide in the RNA molecule and we have a limited amount of information about the secondary structure and tertiary structure of the molecule. And as each nucleotide is being brought into the system, we apply the relevant forces to those nucleotides to constrain the secondary structure and tertiary structure of the molecule. So in the end, what you get is a coarse grain representation of an RNA molecule, where each bead is one nucleotide, and all the secondary structure and tertiary contact constraints that we applied are satisfied.